The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is one of the longest man-made structures with an approximate length of 21,000 kilometers. This wall was built to defend against the attack of enemies in the northern regions of China. Millions of workers have lost their lives to build this wall. Although this wall did not have much effect in preventing the invasion of invaders, today it is one of the biggest reasons for attracting foreign tourists to China. The Great Wall of China was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. To learn more about this tourist attraction, join us. How was the Great Wall of China built? The Great Wall of China was built by different Chinese dynasties over a period of 2,000 years, and over the centuries, its construction techniques have gradually improved. The initial parts of the wall were built about 2,000 years ago, which have been eroded over the years. The images of the Great Wall of China in the minds of the people of the world are mostly related to the part of the wall that was built near Beijing. This part of the wall was built during the Ming Dynasty in the 15th and 16th centuries. The Duration of the Construction of the Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China was built over 2,000 years by 19 different dynasties from the 7th century BC to the 16th century AD. How far is the Great Wall of China? The Great Wall of China is a huge structure that spans several provinces in northern China. However, the most famous part of it that has been restored is located in the north of Beijing. The Great Wall of China starts near the border of Korea and the Bohai Sea and extends to the Gobi Desert and passes through nine provinces and autonomous regions in northern China. The Reason for the Construction of the Great Wall of China The main purpose of building the Great Wall of China was to protect the Chinese Empire from the invasions of the northern nomads. However, it rarely prevented invaders from entering China and was instead more of a psychological barrier between north and southern civilizations and a symbol of Chinese resilience. Another purpose of building this huge structure was to strengthen border control. This issue included imposing taxes on imported and exported goods from the Silk Road, controlling domestic and foreign trade, and immigration from the borders. Great Wall of China from Space You may have heard that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure that can be seen from space with the naked eye. This is not true and it is impossible to see the Great Wall of China from the moon. In fact, the origin of this legend goes back to 1932, once claimed in a cartoon. The Great Wall of China is considered to be the most powerful work of man and the only structure that can be seen from the moon. The Height of the Great Wall of China The height of the Great Wall of China reaches 8 meters on average, however, some parts are shorter or taller, with a height of 14 meters being observed. Workers of the Great Wall of China The workers of the Great Wall of China were mainly soldiers, peasants, and some prisoners. Unfortunately, the available historical records do not provide an accurate estimate of the total number of workers on the Great Wall of China. However, documents show that at the peak of the construction of this wall, a maximum of 1.5 million people were used, which was 1 20th of the entire country's population. Sections of the Great Wall of China
The Great Wall of China consists of three types of important structures, which are walls, passageways, and towers. Wall. The walls form a major part of the entire structure of the Chinese wall, and their height is between 6 and 9 meters on average. The width of the base of the walls usually reaches 6.5 meters and 5.8 meters at the top of the wall. In some places where the land is uneven, natural features such as river dikes, mountain cliffs, and gorges have been used instead of human construction. Crossings. Where the Great Wall of China met the main trade routes, safe crossings were built. These intersections are about 10 meters high and their width is 5 meters at the top. The passageways had ramps and ladders that were used to pass horses, merchants, and soldiers to both sides of the wall. Towers. These high fortifications were located at a distance of 18 kilometers from each other and were usually located on top of the hills and were used to transmit information and military communications. Smoke signals were used during the day and fire or lanterns at night. Some other modes of signaling included using large flags, making loud noises, or firing guns. In the lower part of these towers, there was a resting place for soldiers, a storage compartment, and stables for keeping horses, sheep, etc. Sections of the Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is very long and there are many places you can visit. The most popular section of the Great Wall of China for walking is between Simitai and Jinshanling, which takes about 4 hours to cover a distance of 10 kilometers. Some parts of this wall are steep and it takes some time to pass them. Maintenance and Protection of the Chinese Wall Today's threats to the Great Wall of China come from reckless tourists, opportunistic developers, apathetic people, and nature. In general, these factors, which are mainly the product of China's economic boom, have put the Great Wall at risk. It is reported that about 30% of the Great Wall of China, which belonged to the Ming period, has been destroyed due to adverse natural conditions and human activities. In late 2006, strict regulations were put in place to prevent the destruction of the Great Wall and damage to the Great Wall and destructive behavior such as painting on the wall, throwing garbage, and stealing bricks of the Great Wall are now considered criminal. Great Wall of China Attractions Walking is the most popular activity you can do while visiting the Great Wall of China. In addition, night hiking, marathon, camping on the wall, and watching the great mountain view are other options in front of you. The best time to visit the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China has many attractions throughout the year, but the weather condition and tourist crowds will affect your experience. Since most people visit the parts of the Great Wall of China near Beijing, focusing on the weather in this area, the best time to visit is spring and autumn. In autumn, thanks to less rain, favorable air temperature, and more sunny days, you can enjoy walking and photographing the scenery. Have you ever traveled to China? Have you visited the Great Wall of China? Please share your experiences of traveling to China and visiting the Great Wall of China with us. Write your thoughts in the comments.